Alright, so hello and welcome to another Android Studio tutorial where in this video I'll be showing you how to create a biometric authentication scanner and essentially you can just put your fingerprints on wherever the scanner is located on your phone and it will authenticate it and take you to the next page if your fingerprint is approved. And make sure your phone is running at least on Pi. I believe you need to make sure that your phone actually has the hardware to run the fingerprint scanner. So make sure you have that first. But uh, let's get started by going to our manifest file and adding this user's permission use biometric. And right after that, we can go to our res file and go to our activity main.xml. And here essentially, I'm just gonna add a button and I'm gonna name it, uh, I'm gonna give it an ID of button authentication. I'm gonna change the text to authenticate. And yeah, that's actually all you need to do there. Next, we're gonna go and create a new empty activity. So right under the Java files, you can find an empty activity class and I just named it secret activity. And in here, we're gonna edit the XML just to include a text view, which is gonna include the word secret page, just so people know that once you authenticate it, it takes you to the secret page. But you don't have to do this, you can make it authenticate any page you want. But right after that, we can go to our main activity and we can add this private function, which is gonna be called notify user. And it's just gonna make it easy to add toasts everywhere. So then after you add that toast, we are gonna go straight to the top of our uh, main activity file. And we're gonna write private var cancellation signal. And it's gonna be of type cancellation signal. We're gonna assign that to null. Then we're gonna add a private val of authentication callback. And this is going to extend biometric prompts authentication callback. We're gonna add a getter, which is gonna be an object which extends biometric prompts dot authentication callback. And inside here, we are going to implement a few methods. One's gonna be on authentication error and it's just going to notify the user that something went wrong and it's going to give you the error code. And then we're going to write on authentication succeeded. And here we're going to add a, a toast, which is going to notify the user that the authentication was a success. And we are going to start our activity that takes us to our secret page and shows our, uh, shows our user the secret text. Then we'll go to our on create method and add a check biometric support method, which we will write right down here under notify user. It's gonna be private function check biometric support. It's gonna return a Boolean. Then we're gonna write a value of key guard manager. And that's gonna get system service of the context of key guard service as key guard manager. And right under, we're gonna check if they actually have some sort of pin code enabled or if any of this is actually enabled. So if it's not enabled, it will return a toast, which is fingerprint authentication has not been enabled in the settings. And right under, we're gonna do something similar, which is gonna check whether the use of biometric permission is enabled. If it's not enabled, it's gonna say fingerprint authentication permission is not enabled and they still can't use it. Otherwise, we're gonna return, if our package manager has the system feature package manager dot feature fingerprints, we will return true, else it's gonna be true, so we can just use it. And this is a very indispensable check that you must perform to make sure everything runs smoothly. But right after that, we can write a private function of get cancellation signal, and it's gonna return a cancellation signal. So we're gonna write cancellation signal is equal to cancellation signal, and cancellation signal dot set on cancel listener. It's gonna, uh, it's gonna notify the user that the authentication was canceled by the user, and it's gonna return our cancellation signal. And this is gonna be used for the cancel dialog. And then inside here, we're gonna add a button, which is gonna be called button underscore authenticate dot set on click listener. And inside there, we'll write a value of biometric prompt, and we're gonna equal that to biometric prompt dot builder. And we're gonna give the context of this. And right after that, we can set a title, which can be any title you like. For sample purposes, I just use title of prompts. Kind of boring, I know. And then we're gonna add a sub subtitle and it's gonna be authentication is required. And we are gonna set a description to tell them why they should use their fingerprints. So this app uses uh, fingerprint protection. And then finally set the negative button. You set the text, you add a this dot main executor and you add a dialog interface on click listener, which is going to notify the user if they click the cancel button, but you can replace that with whatever kind of method you want. And we're gonna write dot build, and at the bottom biometric prompt dot authenticate, get cancellation signal, and we're gonna use our main executor for this, and finally authentication callback. And that's all you need to create a fingerprint scanner or a biometric authentication scanner. And also if you fail the code several times, it's going to say, you, it's going to give you a timeout so you can't really use it anymore. And uh, yeah, actually that's, I believe the simplest way to use the scanner. But uh, thanks for watching and see you in another video.